cover relaxed day care, hair group tips, protective styling, and so much more concerning the hair topic in general. So if you know you're interested in this type of content, consider subscribing to join the family. Um, I'm so sorry about the lighting guys, I'm actually filming this video at night because today has been hectic because I'm going to sit in my upcoming hair vlog like today has been crazy and packed with hair activities so you guys are going to see that in the vlog which is going to come up very soon so in today's video I'm just going to share with you guys an update on my links I know this is a very 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 highly requested video so since i decided not to relax my hair at eight months anymore because i'm currently on a relaxer stretch challenge for those of you that are new here which was supposed to last for eight months but i decided to push it further for reasons which i've discussed in previous videos so you can check out those videos if you're interested since i'm not going to relax my hair anytime now i decided to do a rough length check because the only time i do a proper length check is when i relax and flatten my hair because that was when my hair is most straightened but since a lot of you have been requesting for this i'm just going to show you guys an estimate of my current length this is not the actual length meaning my actual length is actually more than what you're going to see in this video because i have a lot of new growths eight months worth of unprocessed hair so that is in a coily form coupled with the fact that my hair is not straightened just blow dried by the way if you've not watched my blow dry routine video i'm going to link it down in the description box below so, you can, so that you can check it out so i'm just going to get up and show you guys how my hair looks like right now i'm going to go ahead and comb it out first then i'll show you guys the length from the front and then i'll show you the length from the back Let me just show you guys. So this is the current net from the front as you guys can see and like i said i have a lot of new growth from the relaxer stretch i'm on so my roots are coily so after relaxing and flat ironing it's definitely going to be more than this but this is it at the front so let me just show you guys how it is at the back I'm just gonna go ahead to untangle. Let me show you guys first from the side. So guys, if you can tell, I am so excited right now. From the roughly check I did, you guys can see that my hair was 
kind of past hip length but not really up to tailbone length and it's making me more excited about my relaxer day because i'm just wondering how my hair is going to turn out on that day so right now we are just going to keep it at hip length still um because it's not up to tailbone length so hopefully on my relaxer day which is going to come up very soon and maybe two months time i'm going to do a relaunch check after i relax and iron my hair i'm so, so excited because i can just imagine how i'm going to feel that day if i find out i am really at table length something is telling me i'm at table length already but i don't want to jump to conclusions because i need evidence i need proof this is a rough length here like i said so it's not a real length i get a lot of freakage and i have a lot of new and the length I get in my real length checks are usually longer than those I get in my rough length checks, which is why I'm so surprised and shocked. Because as at my last true length check, I was at hip length. If you've not seen that, I'll make sure to link the video down below so that you can see it. So doing a rough length check and seeing that I'm past my last true length check, I don't know if I'm making sense right now, but just to put it simply i have a hunch that i may be at tailbone length okay so now i'm more excited more than ever to do a relaxer routine so hopefully that comes very soon and we all me and you guys are going to see my true length check so before now i was on a relaxer and protective style challenge if you were with me on those challenges please share with us down below in the comment section the results you got from your protective style and relaxer stretch challenge or either of them because i'm actually doing this length check now after um ending my protective style challenge which lasted for three and a half months i'm currently still on my relaxer stretch challenge so i'm still going to be dropping updates on that so that's it for my rough leg check if you have any questions or comments make sure to drop them down below and i'll make sure to get back to you so yeah guys if you watched this video this far don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to this channel and turn on the post notification bell so that you become the first to get notified whenever i upload a new video so yeah guys thank you so so much for watching and see you in my next